What do you, what do you think? It's a project. 1976 GMC Vandura 3500 series. Look at this morning here. Dead calm. Chainsaw ripping in the background. We have something very cool for the truck to show you guys today. At least I'm hoping it will be. I haven't seen it yet. A couple of weeks ago, I was heading up to Dad's to do some welding. You remember the video where I did some TIG welding, final TIG welding, on the rear panels of the truck. Now I recently put together this beautiful, nice hefty TIG cart here with my Lincoln welder. And I've decked it out with all my accessories on the bottom, in the, in the, the shelves there. I'm a full bottle of argon here. So I called Dad because I'm not able to muscle this into the truck myself. Now Dad came up and even with both of us on it, with the, with the height of the truck and the awkwardness of it and the heaviness of it, because it's quite heavy, we just weren't able to get that welding cart in the truck and I had to take it all apart and unmount the bottle that I had just mounted on there. And it was just, uh, just a bit of a hassle. And so it was then that morning while I was doing a bit of fab up in Dad's shop, we were saying, you know what would be really handy if you had some type of a lift system some way to just help lift things like that in the truck not not pick up uh you know cars and load on the deck not that kind of power but you know so you're not tearing yourself up to pick a generator aboard or to pick up uh, a transmission if you had it aboard or, or something like that and so i just started thinking you know we could we could make that i could get some uh some square tubing and we could do kind of a boom type thing and i wouldn't want to mess with uh, hydraulic pumps and things like that so maybe we could do something with a winch system i started conjuring up some design ideas and i said i wonder if this exists i wonder if i can buy something like that so i hopped on amazon on my phone right quick and right away we had what seemed like the perfect thing pop up and I was really, really excited. Now, I reached out to the company. And they're actually sponsoring this video because they sent in this crane for our truck, which is so, so exciting because if the, the dimensions seem right, the numbers seem right on paper, I think this is just going to be the coolest addition to our truck and so useful. So you can see wooden crate, tons of heavy bands, I like the way it's packaged. So there aren't a ton of videos, so that's why I'm kind of walking you along the unboxing here. I know some of you guys don't care about the unboxing, but if you're looking at, at buying this, I know for me, I like to see what's happening, what I'm going to get. So we've got a couple different boxes here. I'm guessing this is different parts, probably the winch, one of these items. And here looks like the secondary boom. Sheesh, that is some... That's some heavy gauge steel right there. Okay, let's get the base arm here. Wowzers. That is a hefty unit. Now, I don't know. This might be too heavy without it being mounted. It might topple because this, uh, this front boom here is pretty heavy but we have the fulcrum point here and then we have a pivot point where you can adjust let's see there we go fits nice yeah and like that it wants to tip but you can see we have an adjustment point here where you can slip the pin out but you can store this in a downward position and this is exactly how I intended to be stored on the truck going to be on the front corner we'll show you in a little bit and uh, it'll sit down like this until you want it and we'll just flip up and throw the pin in now I will probably always have it at this setting right here this is as long as anything I could ever imagine needing lifting but we do have slip pin here and you notice an adjustable extension how cool is that now, assuming you've done all your proper mounting back here and everything is firmly affixed at the base, that is quite a reach. Now, of course, anytime you're operating from a fulcrum like that, you have the least amount of leverage 
the further you move away from the fulcrum point. So this is going to be your weakest part. You can hope to, it's rated for 220 pounds on this setting, pulling through this wheel on the end. And uh, oof, I, can't, I can hardly imagine that because that is such a long reach. But like I said, that's not where I intend to keep it. I'll be keeping it in where we have our, our greatest strength. The winch, I went with the upgraded 3,500 pound winch version. That is exactly, exactly what I have here. What a cool, cool unit, guys. Really, really excited. Did a full inspection here. The welds look great. All the construction, the design elements are really great. Oh, there is these, these end things like this. That's going to put this build right over the top. The only other thing I can think I want to do with it is I want to paint it. We're kind of sticking with a theme here on the truck with the blacks and and uh, I don't want this this bright orange crane. I get the idea of it and it's fine. You have to choose some color so a safety orange is great but I don't want that safety orange on the back of the truck so we're probably going to paint it gloss black to match everything else on the deck and the headache rack. It doesn't stand out too much but it's there when you want it. Very exciting. Let's get to work on the rest of the fabrication. Here we go, I put in two rails between our deck rails here. Then I put in this cross member here, which didn't exactly need, but it should stop for any twist because most of our uh, lifting will be this way. So this should help. Multiple weld paths on every joint here, all down around, just to ensure this is as strong as possible. There we have storage position. I'll be in like this or, or this way, depending on how this runs into the bike here. And then to use, nice long swing out. And we swing. Really, really pleased with that, guys. We can't actually hook it up and get it running yet because, of course, this is like the last, last stages of the fab work on the deck. And we're about to completely strip it and get it in for paint. I was just talking to dad about it here. So we're gonna take it all off now. We've gotta take off all the, the deck boards. We've gotta pull out all the lights and everything and then start for the paint prep. So that's it for this video, but you can see what, what it looks like here. We'll bring it back. We're, like I said, we're gonna do it, uh, paint it the same color as the deck, the glass black. We're gonna stain the wood. Everything is just coming together nicely. And what a cool, addition to the truck. Now last year when I was mapping out my plans for the electrical and the interior of the truck, and I do have a bunch of ideas, all stuff we're gonna be working through. One of the things on my list was I wanted a backup camera because we have a truck that's uh, about eight feet wide on the back. And once we get something up on that deck, like the side-by-side -side that's like uh, seven feet tall on top of the deck, you aren't gonna be able to see a whole lot out behind you. And those vintage mirrors, those flat plane, they aren't like convex mirrors like today's mirrors. You don't have a lot of visual behind you. So I said I wanted a camera system and not just a camera system that uh, is just hooked into the reverse. I wanted a switch driven uh, camera system so that I could check the back whenever I wanted. Now. I'd done a little bit of looking around, but not a lot of serious shopping. And I actually had a company reach out to me, Halo View, and they wanted to know if I had any use for a backup camera system for the truck. And I said, boy, you really, you really caught me at a nice time. I looked through their product line. They had a lot of real nice options. And we've got something real nice here to install on in the truck. I think it's gonna be real nice and we're going to uh, have a look now map it out for the truck and see what we can do. So this is the kit we're using right here. Have a look. This is the wireless system. I'll put the information on the screen. 
But we have a nice sized, real nice monitor here with our button options. So we can do lots of controlling of the camera as well. Here is one of our cameras. You see these are sturdy, heavy built, shrouded, metal shroud type system, adjustable. And these are the type with the infrared as well. So we have good nighttime visual and then you have your wires and your little tools and stuff hardware, and then you have your dash mount. Then under here, we have some more cables. We have a temporary type connection if you want to hook it up just to a 12 volt outlet. We have some of our connection cables. We have our antennas because this, like I said, this is a wireless system. And then this is our bracketry and shroud for mounting the monitor. Now the Halo View system allows you to run multiple monitors. So I request, four-cylinder garbage Civic is that. I requested a second camera, so that's what we have here with the included antennas, hardware, etc. So we are going to be cooking. Now we're going to play with the angles, but my thoughts is to have one directly on the back so we can see exactly behind the vehicle and one up behind the cab somewhere so we can check on our cargo load. That's my thought. Now through a little playing around, I figured out the best spot to have this it's right up here where you would have a rear view mirror. It's very convenient. It doesn't take up dash space. This is a big monitor. It's right there, easy to access all the buttons. A couple self taps just to make this quick and painless. Ah. Oh, that's nice and solid. Now watch this, watch this. You ready for this one? Oh, 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 oh yeah. Look at that. Yeah. How sweet is that? There's one little quirk I've picked up on with these cameras. They're really, really nice, robust cameras, but there's an issue that I see that may not be an issue for you. So you have these brackets here that mount like this just fine, and mount like this just fine, but they can't mount like this. That antenna protrudes so far, it doesn't even come close if you want to mount it flat on the back of something. You need to have a significant angle to clear that back because of that antenna positioning. Kind of wish they had of uh, put this port on top here or something because it seems like you would most commonly mount it back like this. But anyways, we're going to do a little bit of custom fabricating here anyways because I want to mount on the front. I want these brackets to L out to the front. So I'm just going to split one of these brackets in half so they fly out either side, so I can mount on the inside of a panel, and I think that'll work. I figure everything else on this truck has been custom fabricated, so we might as well do a bit of fabrication on this as well. They'll be too long to snip it in the middle, like I said, so I actually have to just cut out the sides. I'm using my mill here to square off the ends nice and clean. I always love using my mill any chance. And now I'm using my mill to cut a relief cut so I can cleanly fold over and create that little L bracket. This is, was a, a nice decision. You can see here it just folded very nicely. Just put it in the vise and uh, it just worked beautifully. Couldn't be more happy about how that turned out. So you can see that little relief cut there I made with the mill. And I did clean this up because I figured I'd put a couple dabs of TIG along there just to secure it, but it it's very rigid. Isn't that nice, huh? Cute as a button, look at that. Look at that, what a nice seamless flush install. Very excited, of course we'll do the final wiring and, and all that after the paint work is done and that video is coming up soon. I hope you like this one. Look at that crane. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if it's your first time here, leave me a comment down below. 
check up on top of the back rack there. Look where I installed camera number two. So we'll have a couple different views. Very cool. A big thank you to Halo View and to Rug Cell for sending in our crane. Just very excited about what this truck is turning into. I hope you are as well.